I have something important to tell you about, and it has to do with your money and your government. Before I make a claim about a despicable practice, if you will a perfect storm of good old boy networks, congressional laws written, of the industry, by the industry, for the industry, and a gross disregard for the claim that all people are created equal. This problem I want to highlight is the economic equivalent of cannibalism. It's a perversion of capitalism so unethical that Adam Smith would roll over in his grave. This unethical form of capitalism has been very common in my lifetime. It wasn't that big a problem in my father's lifetime, and had just ended as a common practice before my grandfather was born. Pervasive and coercive monopoly power in various markets was prevalent in the 1800s with the railroad companies and other industries like the Standard Oil Company, Pittsburgh Ware Coal Field, and Carnegie Steel Company. All of those big turn of the century, megacorps were fond of the white slavery labor. Sorry, scratch that. Company towns. A nuance in what I'm about to say was defined by Chris Rock the comedian when he said, quote, The difference between rich and wealthy is Oprah is rich, Bill Gates is wealthy. If Bill Gates woke up with Oprah's money, he would commit suicide. Unquote. That was weird. Really weird. I'm going to pretend it didn't happen. Because most people don't like to sit around and hear me lecture, I will cut away to some experts who can help you through understanding it. They know firsthand because it's their game.